Bye, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my monthly Ipsy haul and try on. And this month, I added on a ton of stuff. So we have a lot to get through. So I'm not going to ramble on too long. And let's get right into the video. So first thing we have is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. I already used this once and I like it and it didn't break me out. So that's a good sign. So I just washed my face. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my little cotton pad and let's go with it all over our face. Really sweet watermelon, like the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Primer does. It is more of a fresh watermelon, almost more cucumbery. Um, but definitely get the watermelon in there. I would definitely say this is more like a cucumber scent, though, with a very light watermelon scent. But feels very nice and cleans my pores out well. Like I said, I just washed my face, so. Shouldn't be too much on there. See, not really. So, that's a good sign. That means that all of my, um, that my cleanser worked. So, <clears throat> that is that. So, I'm not sure if I have <clears throat> a moisturizer in this bag. But, here's the bag this month. It's so cute. And then on the back it says, Your Magic. And, I think this is just the most adorable thing ever. So, I'm going in here to see if I have anything. All right, I'm gonna go in with this Believe moisturizing balm. I actually got this in Ipsy a while ago, um, but I like it. So it almost reminds me of the Drunk Elephant stuff. A little bit more um, has a different scent that I really like to it, and um, I don't know the price difference. Belief is a little expensive as well, so I don't think it's like any different. But this feels extremely nice when we scan, and I like it. So, like I said, I don't have a primer in here either, so I'm just stuck with this Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, currently proven for proven to retain moisture for moisture for. I don't know, it kind of is like blank right there, but it says dermatology tested. So, as you see, it gave me a nice glow to the skin. Um, I like that stuff. Like I've said, I've used it for a while now. So, next we're going to pop in with this Mojito Lip Balm from Malin and Giotz. And I've already used this, and I like it, and it tastes good. <clears throat> and it's thicker than I was expecting, so... put that on my lips and primer so I'm gonna go in with my elf putty primer yeah I'm going with my elf putty primer today just to get away all those nasty pores Next, I'm going with the Mar Marachuga Tinted Moisturizer from Tarte. So, this is what I got. I'll show you the comparison to another thing I got. This is the Tarte base tape that I got from Tarte. And look at this. This looks bigger in the picture. It's a knockoff. <laughs> But you're paying $10 a month, and I added on a bunch, so I paid a little more money than that. But this will probably get me through, like, two uses, maybe. So this is, I got it, the shade it came in was 34N Medium Neutral. Um, I don't have any other, like, Tarte foundation. But I have Tarte Shape Tape. This is the wrong one. I really need to throw that one out because I have two 
and one's like my winter shade and one's my deeper shade but i think i have in light medium neutral so where do i like go in so it probably can be my shade um before i went to the beach it definitely was questionable because i was not that dark after when we went to the beach i was extremely light i'm just gonna go in and leave it um i was really freaking light so i was questionable about this because i was like oh this is not gonna fit my skin tone like this is gonna be bad but then we went to the beach and we came back and now i am a lot deeper in skin tone so here's my finger a tinted hydrator so it's dark for my skin tone right now like i said but we're gonna make it work i probably should go in and change it because like on ipsy you either kind of like light medium i think it's like light light medium like you can choose the shades and you know i usually go and change it in the summer because i tan so quickly in the summer so i need to go back in and change it to light because i'm not usually medium i'm just usually say i'm medium in the summer because i get so flipping dark i usually like, turn this down just a little tad so you can see the shade better so this is what it looks like it um actually gave me really nice coverage i'm like enjoying this a lot um would I go out and buy the full size? Depends. Um, I don't have a job right now, so it's a little expensive for me. But maybe if I ask it for, like, my birthday or something. So I don't think I have a concealer or a powder or highlighter. So basically what I'm saying is that I don't have a lot of stuff. But... So I'm going to go off camera and do everything that I haven't done, like everything that I don't have here, and then I'll check back in with you guys when I'm ready to go with my next product. Alright guys, so I'm back and I went ahead and I put concealer powder on, highlighter on, bronzer on, blush on, all that good stuff, and I'm back to do eyeshadow. So I already had my eyeshadow with my eyes with a little bit of concealer, and I think, honestly that's Money. so i got this cute little brush from um queen and it's their blending brush and i'm so excited to go in with it on my eyes i think it's so pretty and it's purple and purples are my favorite colors and i'm just excited so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this on one other brush just so i can have another blending brush just in case i don't like that one or you know whatever probably me just making up excuses but just want other options so maybe this one that i got last time in my ipsy i'm gonna get this one out and i got this cute little eyeshadow palette i added on it's from eve lightened it's their quad palette and this is from illuminate it illuminati maybe and it's their e lightened quad palette it doesn't tell me what shade is in but the shades look gorgeous and they're so neutral and they're so fall and i was like uh yes please so i'm gonna go in with this shade right up here first we're gonna jump in with this one whoa okay well all right so i'm immediately liking this brush better i love the handle i think it's so cute um not that much color coming off but you know it's okay i don't think it's meant to be it's meant to be more of a transition you know what i mean like a lighter shade so i'm just gonna pop this both in my crease i'm gonna jump in with this brush so 
see if it works any better. So I'm just kind of going with this all over my that, and then I'm gonna take this shade down here. And this is, I'm hoping this is more pigmented. Yeah. It's not crazy pigmented, but I like it. I think this shade's really pretty. And it's neutral, so I'm happy with this. So with Ipsy, you can either decide, you can decide to add on products every month. So every month there's, um, three dollar deluxe mini sizes that you can choose and then there's um full size products so i added on this this um this this was a full size product um and then i added on i'll show you the other things that i added on i added on a hair mask and a um body scrub like a coffee scrub um, that I'll have to update you guys on because I haven't used them yet. But I'm hoping that it, um, that they work because I'll be disappointed if I, like, wasted my money on it. But you live and you learn. So, um, I'm actually really happy with this eyeshadow palette. Um, building up this color right here is making it really gorgeous. And as you see, I kind of finished this eye. And I'm going to go in with one of the shimmers. I'm not quite sure which one yet. I might go in with the gold. Just feel like it might go a little bit better. So I think you definitely have to build up this shade to get it to the intensity that you want. But I like it. And I think it's a keeper. Uh, so I'm just going to fix my glasses. I'm going to go in with this really pretty shade up here. Just watch it. And just go with it right on my lid. So this is not a metallic. It's more of a glitter formula. Um, not mad at it. I kind of want to go in with this other one too. Just to see what the formula is. I wonder if this will work better with a brush and some spray. So I'm going to try that. So I think overall I'm happy with how the eyes look. Um, could it be better? Yes, but it's not the worst. Oh, I didn't know to tell you what I... Okay, so I think I'm just going to jump back into my BH Belgium Waffle Palette and go in with this shade Powder Sugar down here and take this brush go right in my inner corner with it so pretty and then so I think with this shade it's gonna be best to blend it on the buff it on the under eye so I'm gonna dip into that dark shade right here I'm actually I'm gonna mix them they're super powdery and go into the under eye with it so this is really beautiful I think I like the bats better in the palette. Um, they just kind of are more pigmented, have more color, more oomph to them. So I think I'm liking that. So eyes are pretty much complete. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in shade 06 Silky Nude to go in line my waterline and then i do have a new mascara i have the it lash blowout i think this was the collaboration with dry bar and it cosmetics the brush looks super fun and it's kind of flimsy so i'm hoping this like brush um works because it's like kind of fat and if you want to know how I curl my eyelashes and stuff, you can go look in my last makeup tutorial video. I explained it and everything because I'm really proud of my lashes. Um, I was blessed with nice eyelashes. They're very light because the tips of them are blonde. But I think my lashes are really pretty. So I'm going to go with this. Well, 
I'm gonna just go with this on my other lashes without even curling them and see what happens. So actually, I see a difference here without curling them a lot and I'm liking that so I like this mascara I'm gonna put it in my drawer right there and about this situation we're gonna have to just um so last but not least we have our lips so I do have a new lipstick this is the Lottie London Slay All Day Long Wearing Matte Lipstick in the shade Fleek so I am going to go in with the lip liner. All right, so I'm gonna gonna go in with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in shade BFF. All right, that's what that looks like. I'm kind of excited. Mm, it's like a moussey consistency. feels extremely hydrating and I think the lip looks great with the eyes um kind of like doing this whole look so we're gonna give it a minute let it sit down let it kind of dry down matte as it says and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know so this does dry down like completely matte and I'm like, you can see so I love how this look turned out. I think my Ipsy products are a hit this month. I always get so excited when my Ipsy products work well because it makes me hopeful for the next box. So um, I'm going to go in with a gloss on top. I'm not quite sure which one. Um, I kind of want to match the eyeball. So like, I'm going to go in with these Too Faced Show Me Your Coconut Glosses. These are so cute and I love them. They're nice and shimmery. They're so cute. And they taste amazing. Um, this is the Comfort Lip Glaze. Too Faced. So, this is the completed look. I love it. Sorry, my hair's like kind of nasty. But this is the finished look. Um, mascara is a hit. The only thing I'm kind of like iffy about is probably that um eyeshadow palette maybe those glitters were questionable for me um i i'm like thinking about it and i'm like i really didn't get that many makeup products this month like i did but like i didn't you know so a lot of it were my add-ons and whatnot so that's that i'm very happy with how this look turned out i think i'm gonna keep it on for a little longer and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye